Good evening YouTubers. Oh look, camera's over this side, look. Yes, we haven't really been exploiting the uh, the GoPro. Um, it's a bit complicated. But it's, it is, isn't it? But we'll get our heads round it, don't In worry. In the winter when we're less busy. Anyway, yes. I was looking up Cynthia Payne. I've got her wiki page here. I didn't know she died in 2015. She's an absolute bloody British hero, this woman. I've got to check my phone's still charging. Here, here. Cynthia Payne first came to national attention in 1978 when police raided her home while a sex party was in progress. Men paid with luncheon vouchers to dress up in lingerie and be spanked by young women. Police found 53 men at her residence in varying levels of undress, including a peer of the realm, an MP, and a number of solicitors and company directors, and several vicars. And the judge. Um, I don't know if that was just poetic license for the oh, film. Oh, right, OK. A cartoon in the press at the time, according <coughs> to Sarah Baxter in the Sunday Times, showed a vicar in bed with a prostitute confronted by a policeman, saying, I demand to see my solicitor, who is in the next bedroom. <laughs> when the case came to trial in 1980, Payne was sentenced to 18 months in prison, reduced to a fine and six months on appeal. She served four months in Holloway Prison. In 1986, the police raided Payne's home again, this time during a special party she was hosting after shooting the film of her life had been completed. Uh, although she was acquitted on this occasion, the resulting court case in 1987 made headlines for several weeks with lurid tales, some details of which she aired on the Dame Edna experience, <laughs> I don't remember that, with co-guests Sir John Mills and Rudolf Nureyev, whoever he is. Former client, no doubt. On which she also launched, launched her book, Entertaining at Home. <laughs> the court case ended Payne's career as a party giver. On the programme, Payne expressed an interest in becoming a Member of Parliament in order to change Britain's sex laws, which she followed through by standing for Parliament as a candidate for the Pain and Pleasure Party in the Kensington by-election in 1988. The woman's a bloody hero. So the more you lot uh, trolls rabbit on about Wally running a parlour, the more I love her and so do everybody else. You're absolute pillocks. I'd love to know what you little keyboard warriors get up to. A bit of wanking behind the keyboard. <laughs> Filthy little monkeys. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> anyway, anyway, yes, it's been a fruitful day, hasn't it, darling? Yeah, things are looking up. Yeah, I've got some new sunglasses. Look, I went to Lidl's and I found these for a fiver. 4 99 is but, far too much. But they come with three separate lenses, you know? I bought a pair of these before and I thought oh, they were fucking awesome. I had them for years. It's got two clear lenses, two yellow lenses, Don't use the amber, yellow. Len amber lenses. And uh, I had them for donkey's years and they finally broke. And uh, I thought I've got, I must buy another pair, but I tell never it, found them. Tell them about pair. the sunglasses you've got from Shepherds. <laughs> that was oh, yeah. funny. I bought these um, Yachty sunglasses. They were by a company called Gill. G I W -L, L. And uh, they've got all, it's a name brand for yachts apparently. It's not a top one. I think Musto is like a, a more higher end, but Gill's a bit of a lower end. Anyway, they got bought these Gill sunglasses for 30 quid and they're polarized. And they, they, blue. And they were blue, yeah, yeah. like this. Okay, anyway, I'm out on the boat with my new Gill sunglasses and we got splashed, you know, a bit, a bit of spray from the sea. So I rubbed, I rubbed the water off and the blue came off. <laughs> I thought, fucking hell, look at that. Anyway, as Maura rubbed, the, all, the, all the blue came off, apart from around the edges. And anyway, I went back to the shop. It was, was Simon, wasn't it? Simon. I love him. I wasn't bothered. I said to him, uh, I said, uh, these sunglasses you sold me, I said, uh, they got splashed with a bit of seawater and I wiped them and all the blue came off. And he laughed and he went, yeah, they're shit, aren't they? <laughs> he just only worked there, though. <laughs> He's yeah. so funny, Simon. And but you know, you're trying to sell these as fucking yachty, fucking floating sunglasses and quality That's shit. waterproof as a tampon, eh? Yeah, it was fucking rubbish. Anyway, how's your boat coming on? I've given up for today, Graham. Why? I don't know how you how you are not ashamed that you don't help me at all. And then you complain. But I do help you. I do help you. <clears throat> you're full of tarts I like I do as earlier. much as you want. I said, I'll do anything for you. I said, you could you do the cat litter? And you went... 
It's my day off. It's two days off no, a week I and he does cut, absolutely I nothing. I didn't hesitate. I didn't cut this. <coughs> no, did you it. did. Boom, and we needed boom. milk this morning. Go and you get went... the milk. I'll go and get the milk. No, she said, go on the, on the motorbike. I said, no, because the exhaust's hanging off. And Ben's running out of petrol anyway. So I said, no, I can't do it. No, you said, no, I'm not going. And I walked well, all the way to Eroski yesterday morning I and I bought went. bacon sandwiches. And it's I illegal. gave you 100 quid, didn't you, mini change? No, because I kept the rest. Because that's my money, you bloody nutter. I went in and I, I, it's illegal to bring bacon out off across that front. Oh, I, I smuggled the bacon out, made you bacon sandwiches. You can't, you, can't, you can't smuggle meat into the European Union. There was an absolute cow on the Guardia Seville as well. She may be women, going, women are the worst. She may be going and check six packets of cigarettes. I'm like, it's only six packets, it's not even one carton. She said, like, don't care, you are a resident of La Linea. You have to go and check it once. They made me check 19, it was an open packet, of smoked one. 19 fags, the other, the other new heavy, Sirios. Sirio? Oh yeah, go check at so the So you've computer. got all these cops just giving normal people grief who were going to work and back. They're not even criminals, you know. They're just, they're just fucking going to fucking work. I know, it's like saying. going in and out of cold. You've got to queue the door, up and have grief, grief. Who's getting the grief today? Is it going to be the motorists, the cyclists, the, the pedestrians, you know? Who the fuck, you know, anyway. There you go. Anyway, I'd love to help you with your boats. I said to you, will you cut me hair? And you said, no, I won't. No, I'm never cutting your hair because I know you like and, that. Um, That's a treat. You never lift a finger for me. I'm not doing it. And I said, well, no, let me talk you with your boat. You've said that before. I cut your hair and you lay down and do fuck all. No, I'm it's sure I've mentioned it's before. It's Graham has an ancestor, an effigy of an ancestor called Sir Thomas Hesketh, who is a direct relative of his, well, a few hundred years ago. And the effigy is the only one, I believe, that is laying down like this on its side. Yeah, or like that. And it used to have Mrs. Hesketh, or Lady Hesketh, is widow. Where, where is this? Kneeling in Westminster Abbey next to where they crown the kings and queens. She was kneeling like, oh, is there anything else I can get you, darling? But her effigy disappeared. I reckon someone said that's so bloody sexist and they put it somewhere else. Do you reckon? And you even look like him. Look him up, Sir Thomas Hesketh, Westminster look. Abbey. There's, There's a Hesketh definitely look. a Hesketh look. And he was obviously lazy. Very lazy man. That's outrageous. How dare you, madam? Anyway, a note to finish off. Anything? I've got to go to work tomorrow. and I've, I've, I've done nothing. Oh, stop complaining. Oh. Just enjoy what's left of your day off. You're going to cut me Why out? don't you go and have a nice lie down again? You're going to cut me out? No, I'm not. That's oh. enough. I've got to get on. I will enjoy fixing your boat, darling. Are you going to paint it or something? 